your response to that jobs report? It's solid. I mean, I think the commentary, I think what Michael said, is right. I mean, it's, it's solid. You know, to have these numbers, you know, this far in a cycle is, is still pretty impressive. That being said, I think you have to put a little bit of perspective on it. You know, the number, if you take the three-month average, so we got 260,000 jobs ish, the three-month average is 375, of the uh, six-month average is 475. So deceleration, but it's still, it's still solid. I mean, you look at the job openings that we got this week. You know, you had job openings coming down. You, you look at the claims data up a little bit. So, listen, it's moving in the right direction. Today was solid, though. I mean, I think all the commentary about it's just, you know, you've got an economy that's still operating at a pretty good level, and the Fed's got to got to keep going. Spend the week saying bad news was good news. Is solid news bad news? <laughs> Which one is it? So, I, I will say, by the way, it, it, this has felt like another month this week. The, uh, and, you know, by the way, the discussion earlier this week that was surreal to me, Jonathan, around Fed pivot, Bank of England does something because the pension system is having a challenge, that maybe this is a sign of a, of a pivot or put by the central banks. I thought that was bizarre. There's no pivot. The Fed has got to, has got to keep going. And, you know, today for markets, listen, softening of the data is something that we're going to want to see. You sound exhausted after this week. What a, <laughs> what a month the last week has been again. What are your thoughts on that? So I would say there are two parts of it. One, it's, it is the most exhausting. I mean, trying to parse all this data. And by the way, you know, spend a lot of time looking at corporate earnings and what's happening. The margin pressure is business spend going to slow because I think that's going to trigger. Is this business spend going to start to come off? So, gosh, there's a lot you got to go through. I mean, I seem to get up a few minutes earlier and go to sleep a few minutes later every day. That being said, Jonathan, I mean, what you have to take some thought on or perspective on, this is if you're a fixed income investor, the next few years are going to be, I think, extraordinary. You're pricing yields to levels that we haven't seen. I know it's, I think, on that podcast as well. Like, you can you can sit and wait in cash in short-duration assets and, and get paid very well for it. This is creating an environment that, you know, markets have to recalibrate every few years. This is a massive recalibration. By the way, John, my partner, Bob Miller, reminded me this week or this morning that in March, the funds rate was at zero and the Fed was doing QE. Yep. <laughs> and you think about now we've got a price and terminal funds rate, you know, closer to 475. That's a lot of movement in a, in a few months.